Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Yo, 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 already another one. Hold on, hold on, let me turn that down. Let me turn it down. Another, another hidden hand episode. You already know we back. Man, there's been a lot of shit going on. Just happy to be back with the fans and shit and everybody that's tuning in. So we got a lot of a lot of shit going down. It's been a lot of Fauci shit going down this week. With the Fauci emails was released this week. Thousands of emails saying everything we've been saying for a whole year. BG and Fauci behind this shit. So let's get up into this shit. First, Dr. Fauci, man, uh, is behind the gain of function Wuhan and is put into the emails, but he was just in the senator uh, in the Senate uh, a couple weeks ago saying that he ain't know nothing about it. But now we got the emails being released and he's saying he know about it. So we call him flip flopping Fauci because he's been flip flopping on everything. Even with the mask that he's telling y'all to put on, he in the email saying, telling his other people, don't wear this shit. That shit don't mean shit because it don't protect against nothing. Now, I got allergies like a motherfucker. Because if you can hear it in my voice, it's the little flying pollen everywhere. And if I cut the grass with just a mask on, I still be fucked up. So how can the COVID um, be can stopped? The mask be a barrier for the COVID if right. it's grass to get through. And if you have to sit there and go underground and dig coal, you got to wear all kind of mechanisms and breathing mechanisms, yo. Scoot to your right a little bit. Go to the right. I got it. You got yep, it. Yep. And so even when you going in certain jobs like painting and stuff, you got to wear the, the real mask. Right. And so how this little thin mask that everybody wear, <laughs> them little blue boys, how is that stopping something? And here we go. Fauci on the email saying that they don't do shit. And so he coming back on the news and on these shows laughing at y'all like, yeah, wear your mask. You know, saying that, you know, we're going to have a couple more weeks. And then he go back and send emails saying, you know, y'all, you know what I'm saying, man, to his boys and to his people. Don't even wear that shit. That shit don't stop shit. Because real doctors know that shit don't stop shit. Real doctors know that them little um, fake ass masks, you can't sit in the room with people with Ebola with that little thin ass mask on. You know what I'm saying? So we about to play a little few of these Fauci videos and get it pumping right quick. So let's run, run one, one of these videos of the Fauci. He is being accused of profiting off the pandemic by putting out a new book that was written during the health crisis. And newly released emails now show that between Fauci and a researcher tied to the Wuhan lab, they reveal that Fauci may have given China a free pass early on. That researcher writing this, I just wanted to say a personal thank you on behalf of our staff and collaborators for publicly standing up and stating that the scientific evidence supports a natural origin for COVID-19 from a bat to human spillover, not a lab release from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. I don't know, Greg, my first question is why would Dr. Fauci have been communicating directly with a researcher from the Wuhan lab? And did he take that researcher at his word? I suppose that, and I think that researcher, I fact check me on this, Somebody over there. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Just anybody. <laughs> but wasn't this, isn't this dude, he was really involved in this, uh -huh. uh, in this stuff. And he was on the board of like fact checking on Facebook. Yeah. So he, he was like, he was, he had his finger in everything. By the way, the book title is, uh, Fauci's book title is Expect the Unexpected, 10 Lessons in Truth, Service, and the Way Forward. That was his second choice because how I saved the world was taken. <laughs> but what, I really, what I really noticed in the emails was how many, there were so many kiss ass yep. emails by people in the media and other industries trying to ingratiate themselves to Pope Fauci. And it was so, there was so much fawning that I think I got a deer tick just reading them. Ooh. But I think I, I there's a 
He's all over the place. He's very careful to he's very cagey because he knows that his emails are gonna be read. But this is this is kind of scary because basically they're massaging this idea away. To, they're trying to make it go away. To Greg's point about the praise, Jesse. Yeah. That particular email went on to say, from my perspective, your comments are brave, the researcher said to Fauci. And coming from your trusted voice will help dispel <clears throat> the myths being spun around the virus's origins. Fauci's about to get the Avenatti treatment. You, you know, when so? they love you one minute, and then the next minute, they're like, who are you? Scientists saying, yeah, this virus looks like it's engineered. You might want to look into it. <laughs> one scientist emailed, hey, this is how they engineered it. Yeah. Fauci's in there sending emails, you know, masks don't really work. And then he's out there on TV saying people need to double mask. This is bad stuff. And I think Biden's going to soon look to get Dr. Anthony Fauci a little bit of an off-ramp because next Senate hearing, I see Rand Paul licking his chops. He's referencing the one expert who warned Fauci in January 2020 that the coronavirus potentially looked engineered and had some unusual features. So, <laughs> to Greg's point about this book that Fauci is writing about the truth, will he reveal that he was given a heads up to look into that at the very least? We'll see. Um... Look, I think if you pull back the covers on emails and a lot of things, I think you'll find a lot of back and forth between people and government. It's hard for me to reach a conclusion that Dr. Fauci is anything other than maybe politically naive, to call him mali intentionally malicious or un-American from a guy who's given his entire public life from AIDS to COVID 40 years. Uh, has he made some mistakes? Sure. I think when President Trump Bercy, he is being accused of profiting off the pandemic by putting out a new book that was written during the health crisis. And newly released emails now show that between Fauci and a researcher tied to the Wuhan lab, they reveal that Fauci may have given China a free pass early on. That researcher writing this. I just wanted to say a personal thing. So what do y'all think about that? Fauci writing books and all kind of shit, clowning people, man. And I can't believe people was actually believing into this doctor he a real doctor he a real fraud and we've been exposing fauci for over a year if you've been watching the show and so now let's get deep fauci writing books on a pandemic writing emails to his boys saying that the uh, uh the mask don't even work and then he coming right on the news and on the shows telling you that it worked and then going to cynics saying that he didn't do none of this. No. Just just perjuring himself all over the I think he just wanted to incriminate himself. Because you got and I don't understand. Let me hold up. Why is Al all these people when they doing shit wrong? Kwame, Fauci, they always text messaging and emailing. If I'm doing some shit wrong, I'm sending pigeons with notes tied to them. Like the old way. Fuck it. That way, shit, if they get a pigeon, then they got it. Because, shit, all this technology sending and, and FaceTiming and all that shit, if you're doing some shit wrong and you and this can cost you millions and billions of dollars, then why risk it? But these is pure villains, yo. I guess villains got to show you their hand. So anyway, Fauci has been also emailing Bill Gates, BG. So now we can say his name because she seemed like to me BG is on the run. We haven't even seen BG. Where is BG, y'all? We haven't seen no commercials with him. He usually be on these shows talking about how good the, the vaccine is. The last thing we heard about him was what? The the divorce. The divorce. <laughs> the run. The run. The splittage of the money. Man, we were saying it. The money launder. The money laundering. Me get into it with my wife. She run off with the money and be the victim. And then, you know, my kids at least get their portion. Because, because they, I, you know, I don't want to be the villain with my whole family. If I'm going to be the villain, let me be the villain. If I'm the villain. And BG is the villain. We already know. So next, we're going to do some real quick shit. We got another video. We're going to get deeper with Carl, Tucker Carl. It's going to break down these emails even more. And after this, I'm going to show how is this affecting our black people. Judah, where are you going with this? How is this affecting our black people? So let's roll this next video right quick. Hey, welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The utter fraudulence of Tony Fauci is obvious now, and it's widely acknowledged. But it was not always obvious. 
In March of last year, we interviewed Fauci on this show. We treated him with respect. We took his answer seriously. We're Americans, so we assume the man in charge of protecting the U.S. from COVID must be rational and impressive. We also assumed he must be honest. But we were wrong. It soon became clear that Tony Fauci was just another sleazy federal bureaucrat, deeply political and often dishonest. More shocking than that, we then learned that Fauci himself was implicated in the very pandemic he'd been charged with fighting. Fauci supported the grotesque and dangerous experiments that appeared to have made COVID possible. We came to these conclusions incrementally, spurred by evidence that accumulated over the course of a year. Tonight, we have the mother load. Thanks to a freedom of information request from BuzzFeed, we have thousands of emails to and from Anthony Fauci. They go back to the early winter of 2020. Collectively, they show that from the beginning, Tony Fauci was worried that the public might conclude COVID had originated at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Now, why would Tony Fauci be concerned that Americans would conclude that? Possibly because Tony Fauci knew perfectly well that he had funded gain of function experiments at that very same laboratory. Under oath before the United States Congress, Fauci denied this. Dr. Barrett does not do gain of function research, and if it is, it's according to the guidelines, and it is being conducted in North Carolina. And if you look at the grant, and you look at the uh, progress reports, it is not gain of function, despite the fact that people tweet that. Oh, it wasn't just on Twitter. The emails show that Tony Fauci speaks regularly to Bill Gates. That's odd. Bill Gates is not a doctor. Bill Gates is not a scientist. Bill Gates is a very rich man who made billions making mediocre software for office computers. So why would Tony Fauci be in such regular contact with Bill Gates? The term Bill Gates comes up more than two dozen times when you search the Fauci emails. Has Bill Gates profited in any way from Tony Fauci's COVID guidance? That would definitely be worth knowing immediately. And yet we don't know. Our media don't seem interested in finding out. In fact, here's how CNN covered the emails today. Quote, thousands of emails from and to Dr. Fauci revealed the weight that came with his role as a rare source of frank honesty within the Trump administration's COVID-19 task force about vaccines in key ways. In March of last year, former Obama official Zeke Emanuel wrote to Fauci to ask a very simple question, one that we've asked countless times. Are people who have recovered from COVID generally immune from getting infected with COVID once again? That applies to about 100 million Americans, so it's not a small question. Fauci's response, quote, no evidence in this regard, but you would assume that there would be substantial immunity post-infection. Well, yes, you would assume that. We always have. And in fact, studies now show it is true. People who have had COVID and recovered almost never get sick again from COVID. So they don't need to be vaccinated. Welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The utter fraudulence of Tony Fauci is obvious now. Okay, so these is the Fauci videos. That way, you know, because some, you know, some of my people might not see these videos. You know what I'm saying? So we ran two videos back to back. Why? Because I'm going to show you the effect on how this had effect. All this lying on my black people being hypnotized or brought to this propaganda, this medical propaganda and got swindled or hustled by the same person that was in the AIDS crisis. He convinced us, which we knew we grew up with rock Hudson, seeing rock Hudson get the AIDS first. We grew up seeing that the white people had the AIDS first. So who switched and say, we got to make it seem like this is a black thing. So they had to get magic on team. But who was that? Dr. Fauci. So anyway, like we've been saying, Dr. Fauci been collaborating with BG. As you hear, we've been saying it because BG is invested in five of the vaccine companies. Let me repeat. BG including Fauci and his wife. I think Fauci's invested through his wife in the vaccine companies too. And so now you see why he's flip flopping, but Fauci is left as it's looked like to me, he's looking like the fall guy. <laughs> he's looking like the fall guy 
BG and them ran off on a little fake uh, divorce. You know what I'm saying? To money launder in this shit and hide his and money. Even him leaving Fauci to sink with the ship. Right. Because, you know, Fauci, you know, he's been in the game 40 years, but, you know, one day you keep playing in the fire. Like your people you're gonna said, get burnt. <laughs> you're going to get burned when you keep playing in the fire. It's only, I don't, I don't care how long you're playing the fire, you're going to get burned. Be anyway, so how, what does this got to do with my people, my Moors, my Israelites? my black, whatever you want to call yourself. What do this got to do with us? Because a lot of us might not take these vaccines that's watching the show, but some of our people have. A lot of our people have. A lot of our elders have. And they have been swindled by some hustlers that's it's all coming out to the light. They used to say, oh man, that shit ain't real, man. Hey, man ain't no Fauci getting collaborating with Bill Gates, man. Come on. <laughs> Ain't no Fauci sitting around saying that the mask don't work. You know what I'm saying? This is what people, I know you heard them saying. You probably didn't, over the Memorial Day holiday, had some arguments with some people over the COVID and the vaccines. And you can show them this show. You can show them other shows. And they still wouldn't believe in this. But now the emails come out after the holidays. What a coinky dink. What a coinky dink. So now we got a video that's that's what's right now. We got a vaccine adverse reaction of a swollen tongue. And notice in this video what color the people is. Because remember the J and J? The J and J was in Detroit. The J and J was all in the hoods across across the US. They was putting them into the neighborhoods first, the J&J, &J, the most strongest one. That was the one they was like, you know, take them out quick. Put the J&J &J into the hood. That's the one shot. Mm -hmm. But they wasn't putting that out too much in the suburbs. There's a few suburbs. But they wasn't putting out the they people. They had to experiment to see what would happen to them if they was. What would happen? So, and you know, Fauci and them got the shot all on TV. But we all know it was Fiji water. We all, we all know it was Fiji water in there. I mean, you can pump Fiji water in me all day. You know what I'm saying? Clear Fiji water. I'm cool. What's that stuff? They What's that stuff in the bag? Uh, the, the dialysis of what they, they bring you back. Hydrate you. Hydrate me then. Just pump me with the hydrated stuff. It wasn't no vaccine in that, people. Don't believe that. Don't think that they're going to make the vaccine and then pump themselves up with it. Hey man, come on, yo. They gonna pump it up in some other people and see what happened. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna rerun this shit down real quick because we gotta take this information in real quick because this information is moving like you're going down the highway 200, 300, 400 miles an hour. You don't got time to get off if you don't see the exit. It's moving past. You done missed that exit. Now you gotta go on to the next exit. And the next ex exit is this. Vaccine causes swollen tongues Amongst vaccine takers. Let's roll this one. Extremely rare side effect to COVID and it has doctors stumped patients developing massively enlarged tongues. It is truly bizarre. And tonight, Stephanie Whitfield is talking to a Katie woman who developed this condition. And we want to alert you. The images are uncomfortable to look at. I love hamburgers and chicken. <laughs> Karen Washington recorded this video happily talking about her favorite foods because for six months, the Katie preschool teacher was fed through a tube. A stroke left her in a coma for two weeks. When she woke up, her tongue was incredibly swollen. I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk. I couldn't do nothing. It was just hanging all the way down to my chin. She had what's called macroglossia. We told you about the rare condition last fall when we shared Anthony Jones' story. I kept afraid. He had just undergone surgery to regain use of his tongue. At the time, there were only two documented cases in the U.S. Since then, Dr. James Melville with UT Health has heard about seven more patients. I think I know all the cases in the United States currently because they had reached out to me. Out of the nine cases, all had been intubated in a hospital. Eight out of the nine are black, he says two suffered strokes. The other seven were hospitalized with COVID-19. Do you think that 
people who are surviving COVID-19, it's something about the virus itself that is making these people more prone to this super rare kind of crazy issue. Yeah, I think it uh, has to do a lot with just kind of where the virus is kind of attaching itself and the body's just kind of immune response to it. Dr. Melville is now doing a study to figure out if there's a common link in these patients' genes. I often wonder, why me? If doctors can answer that question by studying patients like Washington, they hope they can also figure out how to prevent it. Stephanie Whitfield. So this is where it leads up. When Fauci lies, Bill Gates and them is investing to it. Look at what it's doing to my people when you don't do your research. Now, we ran it down to you real quick. Lying, lying, how the effects. The effects on our people. It's getting adverse strokes, big tongues, heart attacks, blood clocks. You don't think they sitting back watching this and you think they took the shot? You think Nancy Pelosi and all them took the shot? Man, it was placebo, yo. And that's real. So share this video. Take this video and share it amongst all your people and show them, like, look what's happening. Because it's breaking down. And soon that they, what's going to come out next? Let me tell you. Soon as they slam down Fauci, you already know what's next. The vaccines. Because they're having so many adverse reactions. And they're not telling you what was in the emails, too. Let me tell you this. What was in Fauci's emails he knew that people, when they caught the COVID, wasn't supposed to go take the vaccine because you built up the antibodies. And some of these people that had adverse reactions took the shot. So you weren't supposed to take it. Now, how about that? And he hid it in his emails, laughing at y'all while you're going through adverse reactions. And he was saying, yeah, and he kept saying, they kept saying Fauci. We was playing some of these videos. Fauci, what's about some of these uh, strokes we're hearing about? What's up with the J&J? &J? I'm going to take it off. We're going to take it off. Then he brought it back. And was so tripped out in Detroit when the J&J, &J, when they found out the blood clocks was happening, people still was lining up with the news reporting on how they was having the adverse reaction. They had people in the background lining it up still. You know why? Because they, they just didn't give a damn. I'm thinking people were so brainwashed. They literally don't even give a damn. You hearing about this, but you see, you got some people and I know y'all heard some people where well, I'm straight. I'm straight, man. She ain't nothing happening to me. I'm straight. Shit, I'm good. I'm smoking blunts, man. Shit. All right. Okay. But you know, they know it has a long-term effect on some of them. Some of them reacted quick. That was unfortunate. But what about the long-term effects? Because what was, what was, this was allegedly, they had trials on this and all the animals died in months. So when animals die in months, in humans, it's years. But animal die in weeks. People die in months. Like that's why they had a test on rats. If the rats die in weeks, then if nine times out of ten, the humans gonna die in months. If they die in months, then they're gonna die in years. That cause you know they have a shorter life expectancy. Animals. And that's facts. I'm not making this shit up. You can, you know. Check out numerous scientists and biologists and, and uh, lab people that go out and test and do tests. Look it all up. Do your own research. So anyway, so where I'm going at it now. So now, Biden, they making Biden do a Corona probe because they know it came from the Wuhan. But see, China is smart. Because China said, okay, they did a deal with Bill Gates and Fauci. They said, we're going to provide the, the, the place. We're going to give you Wuhan. But we're going to let you run it. That way, when the sh if the shit go down, we ain't to be blamed because that's an act of war. That's an act of nuclear war. If you put out a biological uh, uh, shit to, to infect our people, we got to bomb you. I mean, that's you. Come on. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying that's how it goes. If you create some shit and do some shit to, to another nation and they find out, then they come in to strike. 
especially some shit like this and the and the vaccine is the real weapon it's not the covid it's the vaccine that's the biological weapon but anyway so now we got a pic of china state media saying the country is going to prepare for war if biden go deeper into this uh corona uh pro you got that shit the who? corona the who the china uh media saying say that the country is preparing for war the chinese media says that the country is preparing if biden for, if biden asks for man come on not again judah see they always say they still over there probing up the butts, man, for the COVID, man. No, they, no, <laughs> nah. the probe. They say the probe, man. They said Bill, Bill, uh, uh, Biden nah. is asking for the probe, man. What probe, man? Well, is Biden that? gonna get deeper with that, oh, and he's gonna find you can't out get deeper than the probe. Dog. That China, can you? It was deep into this shit, and this is the act of war, people. While we watching reality shows, mm. while we watching sports, the playoffs, they got us mm. with the playoffs. Shit, China over there, look it up on YouTube. They just was exercising some on the other day. They got fucking water tanks, man. Shoot that shoot. They them motherfuckers in the water. They can go all in the water, on land, shooting from a distance. And then the thing about it is, man, like they, they have uh you know technology. We supposedly have technology that surpasses all of these countries and you know all of that, right? But China sold it. I mean, China bought it from some of our. Remember, they was buying That's, secrets. We got technology that surpasses theirs, but they're getting all of this shit from us, right? So who's really like you know? It gets to the point of like balancing out uh, what's worth more value to us as a country, like having the money, right, that we can make off of all of these advanced weapons, or having the weapons that give us the advantage and give us the ability to defend ourselves. I'm not convinced that at this point we probably don't have the most one but one thing i'm gonna say that the united states do and they didn't let china get control of and that's space because shit i don't need land or tanks and shit really if i got some shit up in space and you've seen these uh movies to where shit when that beam hit because they look like to me I mean, people were saying they was using that weather uh, machine during during when the Houston when Houston got that snow. Mm -hmm. We was testing it out. So shit, just all of a sudden, when y'all say war, y'all just get some Arctic weather <laughs> just in July. <laughs> How that's gonna affect the crops? Man. How is that's gonna affect the people? And people are like, what is going on? Yeah. Because, I mean, some to my gamers, you played that modern warfare game when it was in space. That's some real shit. You seen James Bond when he was in space. This is real shit. Do you think the white man gonna let this earth go away that quick and let him get the grass up off this shit without him having a last say after he did all this shit to all these people? You just gonna let them take control? Come on now, yo. Come on now. We already know the plan is. You, 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 what you're saying is you see a, a bloody coup on the horizon. We already know they plan is to go up to Mars. That's why they sending Elon up there. Because why? They down here suffering and warring it out with the nukes. And water fucked up. There's already water on Mars. Fresh water. They, done, they ain't going to tell you that, but it's fresh water on there. They done already found fresh water. They knew this shit back in shit yeah, in, in, remember, in the 70s. I remember that coming out. It wasn't the 70s, of course, when I remember hearing the coming Right. Did hear about water on the moon. Most in, definitely. In Total Recall, they tell you that. Watch the movie Total Recall. They tell you that underground is a big glacier that they got to bust through to release the air, to release the oxygen. This shit is not made up, yo. They didn't already been doing this shit. That's why they sending your boy, to Mr. Tesla, up there. Elon, Dogecoin. Mr. Doge, when I can get on fucking Saturday Night Live, they're going to say Doge ain't shit and the shit just tank. And then it go back up. Come on now, people. 
So let's get out of that. Next, where where you going, Judah? We got the cart. We got a cartoon that's promoting masturbation that showed to first what? graders. Let's start with that one. We're gonna get out the Fauci shit because that's we, we can get deep. We've been talking about to a number. We're we gonna talk about how they hitting your kids now because they hitting us from all angles. They hitting us from all angles. So let's roll the cartoon and tell me what you think. Pass it, Squeaks. Whoa! Watch it. You almost hit me in the pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, you two? He said pee pee. <laughs> Do you notice that when you say pee pee, you giggle, but when you say penis, you say it in a serious voice? I never noticed that before. Some children and adults feel uncomfortable when they talk about their private parts, so they make up cute or funny names for them. What's one for a girl's private parts? Vajayjay! <laughs> <laughs> but what does Scoops mean when he says Vajayjay? He means vulva. That's right, Kayla. It's important to use the proper words for our private parts. Why? Because our private parts are just as amazing as our hearts, lungs, brains, or any other of our amazing body parts. But our hearts pump blood, our lungs breathe, and our brains think. All our private parts do is pee! That's not entirely true, Scoops. It is true that a person pees or urinates through a hole called the urethra in the penis. Does everyone have a urethra? They do. It can be harder to see, but girls have a tiny hole in the front of the vulva where urine comes out from their urethra. Urination is actually very important. It helps us get rid of waste, stuff our body doesn't need. Hey, how come my penis gets big sometimes and points up in the air? That's called an erection. Sometimes I touch my penis because it feels good. Sometimes when I'm in my bath or when mom puts me to bed, I like to touch my vulva too. You have a clip. So what do y'all think about that? So they hit us from all angles. They're not just hitting us with the vax, with the propaganda, with the viruses. Shit. They hitting us our kids. They hitting us with the drag queen story time. Convicted pedophiles teaching drag queen story time. I even seen I I, I forgot that fucking shit. I even seen that they got a fucking drag queen story time on blues clothes. The motherfucking they was promoting that shit on blues clothes. They hitting us everywhere. I mean, you know, if you want to open up the, the lines for a minute and let some people call in, I mean, I mean, they can. But they hitting they hitting our kids from all angles. They not just coming with the vac. They going to come a hundred different ways. They going to come with poison water. They going to come with the soy in the food. They going to come with the BHT in the food. They going to come with the BHT. What's BHT? That's gas. Look in some of y'all cereals. Look on some of y'all cereals boxes. And BHT is gas. They coat like cornflakes and certain cornflakes. And they put some of these cereals in certain neighborhoods. And then if you go out to other neighborhoods, they don't got the BHT. They got vitamin E in these cereals. I can't make this up. High fructose is in, in your Arizona iced teas in a lot of your drinks. Even this today. I don't usually mess with high uh, fructose, but the shit. I had to because I couldn't find a ginger. High fructose is mercury. But you can't consume a lot of it. But if you're consuming this daily, 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 it's breaking us down. But Judah, where you going with this? What's up with the soy? So I got another picture. I'm just going to start y'all off slow on how the soy affects y'all because too much soy in the system messes give the women too much estrogen and the males, hold up, no, the, the females testosterone and the males estrogen. And so the research. The catfish? No, the, the catfish. And so we got a pic of the researchers in Japan uses soybean compound to make catfish 
a hundred percent female. Now, some of you people that's watching, it's in everything in America. Soy is in everything, especially in processed food. It's in your peanut butter. It's in uh, they even put it in cereal. They it's even in vegetable oil. And so, okay, Judah, what's up with the soy? It has been believed that the if um if the soy is consumed while the woman is pregnant, it's believed that the males will come out with smaller testicles and lower sperm count. Also, you said the, what? You said it again. Consuming too much soy if a woman is pregnant with a male, it can lower his sperm count and testicles will come out smaller. Than the average, because soy, like right here, researchers in Japan uses soybean compound to make the catfish a hundred percent female. Now I gave you that to show you that the soy in is, is is messing with our DNA. Now where's the soy? Go into your cupboards and see where all the soy is at. It's in everything, yo. This is why in particular, when I'm at the grocery store, sometimes I had a lady ask me when I was in the, cer in the cereal aisle. I'm looking all at the side like, damn, psh, damn near all these damn shit got BHT in it. Shit. And the, and the lady came to me. She said, what are you looking at? I'm like, I'm just looking at the ingredients, making sure some of these cereals don't got the BHT. She's like, what is BHT? Literally, I, I was in Livonia shopping. And she like, you know. What's BHT? Because she's just seeing me picking up boxes. I'm shocked. You know what I'm saying? So she was curious. I said, BHT is gasoline. It's leftover gasoline. So what do they do with the leftover gasoline? They put it into your cereal. What do they do with the leftover stuff that they drilling out of? They put it in your vaccines. They got to get rid of it. <laughs> Think they're not getting rid of it? We can make money off this leftovers. Off the waste and put it where? Into the hoods. We can put the high fructose, the mercury up in there. We can put the BHTs in a cereal. They ain't gonna notice. They think it's still Kellogg's. But that Kellogg's is different in the hills or in the shores than it is in your city. So, where you going with this, Judah? Marvel announced its first gay Captain America. Oh, my. Why they making Captain America gay? Cause shit, I guess shit. Soy is everywhere. No, we just, we, you know, it's just dang with the times. When I right now, shit, they making all our cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Let us make the choice. I'm not against gay or nothing, but make us make the choice. You want to make all our characters gay? I even know some gay people. Like man, I don't want Captain America gay. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want Little Richard straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine Little Richard the Pimp? You know what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. It just wouldn't look right. Can you imagine my, my man Benny in the Jets? What's his name? Elton John? A masculine dude pimping women? Come on, I don't want that. You shouldn't want that for your characters. So, you know. <laughs> We got a gay Captain America oh, coming to the bow. Gay Captain America, man, this is. So Judah, where you going with this? Once they get control of all this shit, we're going to eat bugs. We're going to eat fucking bugs because shit, like we had that cartoon. The big dogs only ride around with the gas. Gas gonna be high, so only the ballers can afford the gas. Only the boss is going to be able to eat the meat. Hmm. Notice in your cities to my people. Notice how they're handing out them boxes. Them food boxes. That's just to prepare you for what's coming. You're fucking going to get a monthly box. And they already got this shit planned. I'm not making it up. Go to the world forum. With what? Claw swab. swab. Next week I'm going to show you. I got a whole thing on Claw Swab. This motherfucker got on a Klingon outfit. I think I showed it to you, man, Mark. They putting this nigga on a Klingon outfit. He's their leader. Bill Gates, everybody look up to this guy. 
He the one made up the COVID shit on that we should be submissive to them and we should be able to only be the ones that ride around with the cars and they should have the bikes and the electric cars. We could have the gas planes riding around. Carbon is bad for y'all. Notice how they saying carbon is bad for y'all. You know who's carbon? You. So they saying you bad. When they on TV saying that carbon is bad, you are made of carbon. So they talking about you. They don't want you around. So I, to me, Mark, I think we fucking dealing with aliens. Huh. Ain't that a bitch. They already saying that the aliens is coming out as reports. We're going to get off into that. They saying that the aliens is, is, you know what I'm saying? They got the alien reports and everything coming out. They got the alien release coming out in front of the white house. If you look on the net, the aliens right now, the alien news is being big. Aliens have to be revealed. Don't say it is not, it's not real because the CIA is coming out with the information about the aliens. So what people you know want to put mercury and shit all in people's food and gas and all that. These is not humans, yo. These is demons. And we've been talking about for a few years, man, Mark. We've been talking about CERN. Yeah. Harp. Harp. All this. So where's CERN now? They opened it up. We haven't. What, what the fuck did they bring through that? They said they want to make open up a portal. And they finally got it open. They had Tom Hanks fucking debut the shit. Look it up. Tom Hanks starts CERN. What the fuck Tom Hanks got to do with this shit? He was one of the first celebrities to call it COVID. I remember that. Right. <laughs> Supposedly. That maybe that was, you know, to get the hype. That's the hype. If we all look in the TV, remember all this, at the beginning, all the celebrities caught the COVID first? And they say, oh, because they all around people. Man, I know more niggas in Detroit. They're around more niggas and more people than Tom Hanks. <laughs> I know you know some people like that, Bart. They shaking more hands. They slapping more, more hands, man, than Tom Hanks. So what's the difference? They in Miami and shit. They going to parties and shit. They in L.A. So why they ain't catch the COVID? That was to get y'all hooked. That was to get y'all scared first. Eat your elbow got the COVID. Remember, eat your <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that was to get the black people going. I posted the video of him coughing with the earth. When he was coughing a little meat. And this came out maybe a couple of years before COVID even came out. It was, it was a real stupid ass video of him coughing. Like he, like he had caught some shit. Oh, my God, yo. And I ask my people, please put down TV. Please put down CNN. And tell your people to put it down. Because it's ran by the same people that's putting out the vaccines. Why not? It's all one full circle. People, it's all one full circle. It, it, it take hours for me to break this shit down. We, I have to come with all kind of videos, all kind of pics. Just go back to some of the truth talk days when we was on 7 Mile Radio. Go back to some of the early hidden hands. Even I think we had the, the plot thickens. <laughs> the plot thickens. Go back to some of that. These these are the titles we own. You know what I'm saying? And we going we was breaking this shit down earlier. So Judah, where are you going with this? So once they got a you know a hold on us. Why we might be eating insects soon. Eating insects in the future. Because, like I said, they're going to be the, in, in control of the boxes. Only the ballers. They're going to make... They right now, you can look this up. They have a 3D printing meat thing where they can print out meat. I wish I could make this shit up. They can they can print out meat. I'm thinking about that though. But where was that from, Mark? Do you remember where that was from? No, where? What movie? The, remember the Matrix? It wasn't printed out, but it was it was it was mine. Remember he was like, I'm tired of eating the real slop. I want to go back to the in there and shit. Just think like I'm eating a Salisbury. 
And remember, they gave him a steak. They said, snitch on everybody. He said, shit, the steak. <laughs> the motherfuckers is over there. Remember on the Matrix? Come on now, people. We the only ones. This is the, I'm speaking as the elite. We the only ones going to eat the meat. We the only ones going to drive the cars. You're going to drive electric. You're going to plug up. We, we, we're going to be able to afford to do it. The ten dollars a um, a gallon, the ten dollars a gallon. Come on now. Dang. So where are we going with that? Let's roll this little one minute video to where last night they were showing this shit. Or I think it was this morning on CNN to where they was doing bug sushi. So they getting you prepared to saying when food shortage because I think a meat plant got hit by a hacker supposedly shutting down the beef. So now they're trying to, you know, send shut down your meat everywhere. They shut down the gas. Now they're shutting down your food. And they're going to use that weather control thing one day to shut down your crops. Then what you're going to do, you're going to eat mealworms. So let's roll this little one minute video. After spending the last 17 years underground, and no one is more excited to see these winged insects make their debut than my next guest. You cannot wait to put them on his menu. That is right. Joining me now is Bun Lai. He is a recipient of the White House Champion of Change Award. He is also the chef of Mia's, which is the first sustainable sushi restaurant in the world. Bun, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for uh, skipping breakfast and getting ready for this good experience. I am ready. Uh, well, no, I'm not really ready, I have to be honest. Okay, this is sort of, I haven't actually eaten a bug since mm -hmm. I was three when I had a spider. Okay. I'm totally joking. Yeah, I'm gonna put this. Wait, back. no, really? So that, no, yeah, yeah. Do I really have to eat a live one? No, no. Okay, I, thought, I, I was kidding. I actually thought Fred I, is I scared. Totally Fred survives <laughs> another day. Ooh, Look out the top. This is what a cicada looks like when it's coming out of the ground. Yeah, that's so you got, great. You got artwork over here as well. Are you ready? Cheers. Actually, I'm yeah. less scared of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, the crunch. Mmm. Do I have a wing hanging out of my mouth it's after spending the last? You said a cicada when it comes out. That's the little. That little sh yeah, they, I think they said they're having a cicada thing right now. They've been in underground uh, for 17 years. So a lot of cicadas is coming out of ground. I think that's like what they usually go through. So right now, shit, we can do cicada sushis. Cicada stir fries, cicada meatloaf. You know what I'm saying? We just crunch them together with some tomatoes and shit and make cicada meatloaf. They're trying to get you used to it because what's going to happen in the future? Don't say Judah that, you know what I'm saying? Some, uh, about a year or some or two from now, I'm like, Judah said this shit, man. We got boxes. They're trying to get us to get just boxes per month for the family. How many people in our family? They think this is how much we should eat. We're rationed out. We eating rations. Bugs. So Bug rations. So if, if we don't get the meat, so we got we to gotta get used to digging up worms and shit and having worms too. Collar pillar dressing. And I know some people, shit, I don't know. The roaches are going to be scared of us, shit, because, uh, shit, we're going to start hunting down the roaches, man. Have ro roast sushi. They can run, because, shit, I'm going to eat your ass, then, shit. And with some Italian dressing. <laughs> Can't make this up. So, last... <laughs> Last shit we talk about tonight, man. I know it's been a last shit. We try to run it through you so quick, man. It's so much information. Like I said, we're going 300 miles, 400 miles down the freeway quick. So if you don't hop off at the exit, you know what I'm saying? You don't see the exit. You got to keep going. So the next and the last, we got a turkey. We're talking about food. Turkey legs was stolen. There's six flags in it down there causing a little mini riot inside six flags in St. Louis to where the people was scrapping and running for their lives still in turkey legs. And I just, and this this right here, right here, it hurt me, man, because my people, my people, we got to do better. Because I seen some of the foreigners, they was back taping, laughing, like, look at them, scavenging for turkey legs. And I, I guess they was like, what, $12? Come on now, people. Shit, Biden handing out money every fucking month. And if you got kids, shit, starting in July, you're about to get fat checks. So you can't get a turkey leg, a 12. What the fuck was you doing at Six Flags then? If you can't afford a $12 turkey leg, my people. This shit right here got to put the stop, man. 
Let's roll it, man. Let's roll this embarrassing shit. This wasn't, even, this wasn't even a chick in the leg. Not that it would have made it any better. But this is a, a turkey leg. And they I say that for the last. Of the ground. They were picking it up off the ground. Some people probably going to come on there. We might have some white supremacy. You should have put that first, Judah. You know what I'm saying? You're looking like savages. Come on now, yo. I don't know, man. Sometimes I, I just say, like, what the fuck? Who is they parents? Where in the fuck, yo? And what are you doing at Six Flags to where you can't afford a fucking turkey leg? <laughs> All right, I'm choking over there. Shit. I mean, you had Six Flags? I think it costs like shit. $90 a ticket? You paid more for a ticket than scalvaging. You paid $90 for a ticket to come in there and scalvage turkey legs off the ground. Off the ground where, where fucking peacocks been shit down. Because you know they let their peacocks walk around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other bird they got? The uh, pigeons and shit. They shit it all on the ground and shit. You know. You know. Because the birds the one pick up all the leftovers. If you ever been to the islands, they got chickens walking around and shit. Yeah, that's for that's for the trash. They been to the Bahamas and shit. Wonder why the chickens was walking around. That's for the trash. Then we cook them up, cause you know the tourists gonna leave all the trash and shit. Throw chicken bones and shit, and then then the chickens gonna walk around. They gonna clean up your hot dogs, your leftover little end that your kids drop. And so this is and you like like you said you picking up turkey legs off the ground. Looking like savages. Some of these people, come on now, man, yo. Some of these people, man, we gotta put this shit to us. We gotta check some of our people too, man. We, we gotta be accountable, though. This is our people, and some of the mamas and daddies, shit is raising these type of fucking kids, yo. My kid ain't gonna be in no fucking Six Flags. Now, if they do, I'm on your ass because shit, I done sent you with some money to Six Flags, goddamn it. You at least got about $100, $60 or some shit. You didn't pay for your ticket, $60, $70, walk around, Six Flags. You, you 16, 18 or something, you know. You're going to get something to eat. You don't got to pick up turkey legs off the floor, <sighs> off the ground. Come on now, you my people. It sound extra pathetic. It is. It's, I mean, that's how it's looking. <laughs> it is. And it's fucked up because that's it my really people, is. man. It really is. That's fucked up. And and if you look in the video, rewind it back, you got some of the uh, foreigners, the Hindus, they laugh at taping. Look at these niggas. These niggas are savages. 
But we already know who the real savages is. But anyway. That's the show for the day, man. I don't got nothing really else to say. Shit, man. We just summed it up. Next week, we're coming with Claw Swab. We're going to show you the leader of the world. Who run Bill Gates and Fauci all them. Hmm. Who's, you know, wrote that COVID-19 book. Oh, let me show you some of these books. Get, get some of these books right here. Medical Apartheid. Right here. Excellent book. I think I showed y'all this before. But right here, I keep telling y'all, it's cheap. Go on Amazon, eBay. Get it used if you can. It's like $13, $20. Medical apartheid. Also, because, you know, we in medical apartheid. We're being targeted with the shots. Acres of skin. I got this used, I think. I got this one used. But I think I paid like $20 or some shit right here. This is what we living in. They've been doing experiments on us. And I can't believe that our people is falling subject to this BS, yo. To these vax. You know, when they was doing medical apartheid, they've been, it's been, they've been doing it in prison. Prisons. They got prisons, I think, in Philly to where they was experimenting on people. And it's in here. It's in medical apartheid. No, it's in Acres and Skin. I think it's Acres and Skin. Yeah, right here in, in the Holmberg's prison. That's in Philly. Or in Pennsylvania, if I'm not mistaken. They've been doing experiments. They've been doing sitting back and spraying. Remember chemtrails? They used to, I remember my people used to say, y'all crazy. Man, that's the jets. Then it come out. They spraying. And you wonder why people develop certain allergies and shit. Certain skin rashes and, and um, a lot of motherfuckers got eczema now. A lot of motherfuckers got eczema. The fuck is that? But you know. That's about it, man. Man, Mark, man. So what you what you what you think about, man? We're gonna close it out, man. Shit, man, uh, you know my baby visual is tonight, man. Right. Uh, you know, Breathe. get down. Uh, Plain and simple, man. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, her family's on the way, man. I got a uh, got her logo out there, spray painted on the ground in front of the house, man. Right there in the spot. Yeah, look, if anybody that's breath, watching man. the hidden hand, they might not know we lost a uh, a member of the team, Bree, uh, the Plain and Simple podcast uh, last week. So we just want to play the queen. Rest in heaven, my queen. Ever be up, remembered. What's up, Bree? What's up, Bree? Right. Ever be remembered. Rest in heaven, my queen. So, we'll be back next week. You know, we're going to keep this coming. Like I said, this shit is coming out. This, all the shit that we've been saying is coming out fast. You know what I'm saying? We've been saying this to where a lot of people are like, man, that shit YouTube. That's YouTube. You know, but we'll see you next week. I'm Judo Woke Ace. I got Mark from Seven Mile. And we out. Peace.